Susan's back! This is Dark Purple. In this episode of Adventure Time, Finn and Jake are chilling out by the squeegee mart, or squeezy mart, or whatever it's called, which we haven't seen in a while, which was cool. And they're wondering where this drink comes from that they drink a lot. And then they decide not to, which kind of a nice nod to consumerism and how you don't really care where your product comes from, as long as it's good. And then we cut to Susan Strong, who investigates it because, like, a robot who, like, are in charge of filling the drink vending machines kidnap her a baby. So she and a bunch of her girls go chase the robot with the baby, enter the lair, fight around for a bit, defeat the bad guys, make them destroy their factory, and that's the episode. And I have mixed feelings on this episode. Like, for a couple of reasons. And a lot of this, a lot of me has to wonder, would this episode have happened if we, if Pendleton Ward was the showrunner? And if you don't know what I mean, Pendleton Ward, who, creator of Adventure Time, he stepped down as showrunner after season four. And... He, there's this part of me that kind of notices it. Like, the show has a different feel to it. Like, I rewatched, like, a bit of the earlier seasons, and the show feels different. I mean, not just in the fact that we're... Ex I feel like we're exploring with some deeper themes and stuff than we did. It's still a good show, but it definitely... You can kind of tell that it's not... Ward's not controlled. And... Because, like, the last time we saw Susan in, like, season three... Two or three, I, I, I think it was season three... Like, you know, she then felt under her hat and it left it open-ended, like, who she was. And I thought, oh, that was them bringing closure to Susan. So, bringing her back, I thought, okay, like, would Pendleton Ward have left Susan alone had, like, he stuck around to show on her? Or are the... Or would he have not done it still? Or is just the writers just running out of ideas and looking for whatever they can. But again, I can I could, I was willing to let that slide because I was like, okay, you know, reaching for ideas. Fun Susan Strong. Um, an episode about Susan Strong is a kind of cool thing. I mean, she has a big fan base, and it's been a while since we've seen her. But on the other end, like, and yeah, the, ep the bit we got of her was fun. It was fun to see her, like, go around taking out the factory. It was nice to see how capable she is. I mean, she's grown, developed, like, she's speaking. Her language has gotten better. Like, and there was a really fun moment when she's hiding behind a crate, and she has to disguise... She's going to do the classic, I'm going to take a guard out and disguise myself as a cliche. But the fun part was she hides behind the crate, knocks one guard out, and they're like, okay, she's going to walk out now. And that's like... And then she knocks another guard. It's like, oh, she's big, she needs two. And then she knocks another guard out, and it's like, she, the fact that she has to knock out three guards in order to disguise herself, I thought that was kind of amusing. And then the fact that she gets caught, because there's always this cliche where the character will bear, look, steal his guys, but barely look like the other guards, and they won't notice a thing. So it was nice that they caught on this time, and again, the whole thing was fun. There was this part of me that reminded me of Bioshock for some reason. I don't know. But who cares? It was fun. I loved the design of the factory. I liked the music that played. I loved the way Finn and Jake were worked in. We got to see Marceline again. And BMO was amusing for his one line. And that's my blog. So leave your thoughts in the comments below. Like, dislike, comment, subscribe. And as always, this is JSTAR60 signing out. Until next time, take care. Did you really think I was done? <laughs> of course, I'm not an idiot. I didn't forget. Let's talk about the big thing in this episode, which, honestly, I'm kind of mixed about, which is the reveal of Susan Strong. She is a human! And I really don't know how to feel about this, because, you know, I kind of like the idea of keeping Susan's identity a mystery like there's that part of me that wishes they kept ambiguous like when they cl did that episode where again where finn feels under her hat like it's very much meant to be taken ambiguously open to interpretation is she human is she not so the fact that they just flat out said that she's human 
kind of bothered me because I wanted that mystery to be left open. And again, I'm wondering, like, if Ward was still the showrunner, would he have done this? Would he have, like, said... Le I mean, he's still involved in the show, but he's not, like, main man. So I'm wondering, like, would this still have happened if he was, like, completely in charge? Or would he have been like, nope, we're done with that, we move on? So, yeah. I mean, it was still a fun episode. It's just, ah, that was such a good mystery, and I wish they had left it open. But, I mean, I was watching Dragon Keeper and I, you know... 60s video, which, if you don't, which, watch her videos, they're pr really, really good, I really like them. And she said that while they made that, while they did reveal that there was another mystery that was opened up in regards to, like, what is Susan, because there's, like, this cybernetic implant on her head, which raises the question of what's going on with her, and this is probably them just leaving a door open for, like, a later storyline in Season 7 or 8 or what, whatever. But... And I do have to agree, I do like it. We do know what she is, but we still don't know what she is. I mean, we get one question, but we get another. But I am kind of worried that Adventure Time's starting to feel the need to explain everything. I mean, I like the little snippets of backstory we get, but there is a part of me that just wishes, like, Adventure Time would just leave certain things up into the air for us to figure out. But... Again, like, I can't complain. I mean, this was still a good episode. The show is still going strong. It's six seasons in, and it's still going strong. And, again, we still don't know. There is still that intrigue about Susan, which we're probably not going to find out about until next season. So, yeah, I mean, I'm a little disappointed that we got that we opened up Susan's story. Again, I much would have preferred if we had just left it alone. But I can't complain because it was fun, and the show's pretty good about stuff. And yes, I have seen the theory about Susan being Finn's mom. It's intriguing, and there's a strong argument. I won't go into it here, but just look on Tumblr if you're curious about it. And it's interesting, but again, I don't want to get too caught up in that. So yeah, like, dislike, comment on what you thought. Do you agree that they it was a bad idea to bring Susan's story back, and that they should have left it alone, or do you are you happy they brought it back? Comment and let me know. And as always. I already said like and dislike, so subscribe if you haven't already. And this is Jay Star 60 signing out. Until next time, take care.